Hello everyone. All right, so the countdown timer is still going, but you know what? Fuck it, we started late today, so we're, we're gonna start like a whole three minutes and 49 seconds early than previous thought. Um, also, my audio has been <laughs> really fucked up recently, so if I'm loud, if I'm quiet, I probably am really loud because I turned the music down pretty quiet, but um, so hopefully I wasn't too scary when I popped up. That's the first jump scare of the evening, as I like to say. Um, okay, so let me make sure. Uh, if the audio ever needs to be, like, tweaked, just let me know in chat. Just be like, Kriana, the game's too loud. Kriana, you're too loud. Kriana, you sound like a robot. Kriana, we're dropping frames like mad. It's not audio related, but I will also accept that. All right, so we'll get this. Hey, I have a face. We're going to be playing this game that I know nothing about. Uh, I found it on Steam. Uh, it just recently was released on there, and uh, yeah, it had the, the horror tag, so I thought we'd give this a try. If it's absolute shit, I have other things in mind, but um, how do I go back? Quit? No, I don't want to quit. Ah, there we go. And I don't know which one's the first one. I'm guessing it's the one on top. So, I'll, I'll find out, I guess. But yeah. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news. The blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Okay. Just what we need. Some good old-fashioned New York rain. So Is close that your all? windows, lock your doors, Wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. Interesting. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test, Test Pilot. Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Interact. Um, I'm going to turn off the I radio. I prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Listen, we're not gonna get along at this rate if you don't let me do what I want to do. That's a phone. It looks like a bird. Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You're more productive than I am. You have two. New messages. <laughs> That's the most Personal depressed message. sounding answer machine. At 18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once in a lifetime chance to. Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. God. Message deleted. Wow. Second new message received today at 6.29 yeah, I wanted to go. PM. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. Yeah, tell it to yourself, Alex. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Ah ha ha! Funny. We have a lot in common now, don't we? Alright, uh, what's in the cabinet? Well, shit. It's locked. What's your language, young lady? I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Is this gonna be like Silent Hill 4 Playing in the room? Game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Um... Sure, yeah. I'll go to bed at 7 in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. That's a sofa. God, you are unwell. If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. This is how I talk to myself all the time when I'm just like sitting at home like, 
Hmm, look at that radiator. I could leave it on. If I was cold. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Is it a key? Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. Oh, okay. So, not a fan? All these doors I can't open, Silent Hill. It's true. Uh, alright. Uh, okay, let's... Power on. Good idea. Yep, yeah. Oh man, this is getting a little too real. Five minutes later. Oh jeez, it's like my desktop background. Nope, not changing it. Let me have this one childish act of rebellion. Did she break up with her boyfriend or something? I'm not changing it. I kinda like bitter reminders. What's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. Alex, you are just making There's me uncomfortable. Stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. <laughs> okay, what is it? Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Oh. Let's see. A ten-foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. Okay. Right. Let's do this. Where are we going? Oh, look. Drama, as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well. No time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Are you gonna put this package in like a weird ass spot too? I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it. What did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe it's the oh, note? Here it is, I think. I've solved my first puzzle. Feel good. Alex, what does the note say? Oh. Eh. Um. Keyboard? Tower? Nah. What? What is it? What, is, what does nah. it say? What? Alex, what does the note say? The walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Oh, oh, is that is that a clue? So I have to read a book? So but you said there are games over here. Let's do this then. Oh! Oh there we go! Good, she is she is a oh inhaler. Yeah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. Is that is that really a minor thing? It's pretty severe. I mean, you know? Okay, Alice, whatever you say. Alright, Piff, I will get Skype up and going. Am I super dark? Well, I mean, no, I'm not super dark. I mean, my webcam, it looks darker than normal. I guess it's not too bad. Let's see, maybe I can make it... Maybe I can make myself a bit brighter. Let's see. Is that... Am I getting... Am I whiter? Oh, God, yes, I am. All right. Maybe just too much... Too, 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 too much, is that better? God, that seems bright, but maybe... Maybe it's that, I don't know. We'll wait for that to load. Pip, if you would like to call me, you may. Um. That's cool, yo, I guess. I have... Oh, shit. I need to plug in my laptop, actually, before it dies. And have a cat. And we get a call from Piff. Piff? Uh, Hi. Is that you? Piff, it's me. Piff? Can you hear me? Me the whole time. Oh, it was me the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, so this game does not have, uh, windowed mode, so you won't be able to see real time. You'll have to watch the stream. Oh man. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah, <laughs> especially since I've already been... Uh, you guys should be able to hear Piff. Good now. Um, been struggling already. Ah, super good. <laughs> super good. Is it super frightening as most things are at the frightiest of nights? Oh, absolutely. Cat, is that you? 
No, that's just um, two liter bottle of soda that I have on standby for when I get parched. It's just walking across the floor. <laughs> it's like, hey, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> bring this back up. I know nothing about this. I don't even know. Like it, it said there was a horror, t horror tag on uh, whatever the fuck Steam is called. You heard me. Oh my gosh, speaking of, mm -hmm. I, got a, I got a game for next uh, Bad Game Roulette. There are some good ones I saw that I wanted to get you, but... Oh my but... gosh. Oh god, no. Um, is one of them, let me get the title, Kitty Powers yes. Matchmaker? <laughs> yes! <laughs> that had a horror tag and I saw that and I was like, I gotta get this for Pev. I I I have it. It is currently Rider own Kitty Powers Matchmaker, which is probably my favorite thing that I've been sent within the last few months. Oh, someone sent that to you. About this book in mm. years. I doubt it's the one. Okay, Alex, why don't you tell me what book you've read? I'm saving it for a special occasion. I can't face Wh the shame of seeing the dude. Wait, the the. Kitty Powers matchmaker. No, 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 no. Uh, at uh, heart attack? No, no. Alex, the girl in this game, is just like bitching about everything. By applying the principles of objective uh, to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. Okay, we'll it see could it. be this one. I should double check the title. So, so far, the only horror that I see is uh, nah. the goth kind. It yeah. could be this one. Should Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial, my prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book, this is the wrong book. I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. So wait, was it this one? Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. So is it this one, Alex? Nah. Don't say nah, tell me if it's the book. Death, the high cost of living, just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. Oh, I, I guess like all the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. You still are a teenage goth girl. Special topics in Calamity Physics. Okay, the so... only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Okay, let's... Good book. Let's... Okay. D don't get overwhelmed. Let's read the note... Or... Some, the note was, was the okay. writer walks the shores where love, love inscribed, inscribed its final kiss. kiss. Time to read. The Alex. writer walks the shores where love. So this is the one Gavin gave her. Was Gavin her ex boyfriend? Yeah. The high cost. It's so letter. deep. Just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. It's so All deep. The wearing wannabe team. Okay. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged, a beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. When you played Bioshock, Alex, what did you think of it? What did you think of Bioshock Infinite, Alex? Tell me. Since I Were you a boy like me? Probably not this one. <laughs> Leaving did you like it? I liked it! Did you love it? This because I My knife liked it, it too! <laughs> I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. Listen, I can I do without the witty commentary, Alex. I have no time I for this. I am a person playing a game. Should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I need to know. Metafiction is the name of the achievement I've just unlocked. Sanctum by Madeline Ruth. This just, oh. in fact, the mirror. It's a book with the title of the game. Okay. Now that we've looked at your books. I'm pretty hungry. No. Now that we've looked at your books. Now we can look at your shelf. <laughs> Up top. <laughs> yeah, that's the real question. What'd you think of Bioshock? Okay, so. That was a joke that I took from Mackenzie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you're not supposed to say you got the. You got it. Up top. Up top. Let's do this then. Okay. Thank you. Do we not. Can we look up more? Or... I'm so confused on how to play this oh, game. Cassell. You are a strange and troubled so man. So right qu click tells me what you. the book is, and then she gives Woody. For your oh. graduation, I hope there will always be room Picked in your spectacular mind. Picked it up. Let's do this. Mind. Picked it up. On my island, love you forever and always, Gavin. So yeah. that's it. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. Okay. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. 
I remember now. So you've just successfully picked up the book. I think so. I think we got this. Now. I think that was accidentally a uh, puzzle solved, but we'll find out. Okay, let's sit down. Excuse I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. Oh, she's going I'm on a choo-choo train. I wonder if it's the Polar Express. I want to meet Tom Hanks and Tom Hanks. And also what? Tom Hanks. The you want says to be a conductor. <laughs> I don't recognize Saying that is picture. believing. And even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says... You want to be shoved out of a moving train what? going on high speeds because you don't have a ticket, <laughs> boy? <laughs> I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. There's imaginary speeds. Think about what would what happen I do, if wait. I shoved you out of this. So, someone else signed for the tickets? Oh no! Are we losing power? Now it's storming. Oh. This is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. Oh, so we have to go to the I'm station. Not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my What have you gleaned of the story so far? I don't, like so I don't know! DVD is in order. <laughs> might make a change. I've played it for all of five minutes! <laughs> Solid stuff. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Rain, thunder, lightning, the works. So batten down those hatches and get ready for a cozy musical night in with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively on BC 304 FM. Okay, so it's storming, but I need to get the tickets, I think. That's what I got from that. I don't really want Okay, fine, we'll leave. No desire to go. <laughs> oh, so we're just gonna hang out? There are Okay, you said you're hungry. Let's go fucking eat then, Miss Alex. It's going bullshit. so fast. <laughs> I'll grab some food. It's very hard. Alex, I've had enough of your lip. Go eat some food. We won't watch you eat the food, that's fine. Good. Did you eat? I don't want to eat. It makes me fat. I don't want to eat. It's not what I Alex, do. Do the shopping from time to time, yeah? Okay, I ate. Now what the fuck? Should I go to bed? Sure, yeah. I'll. Fine. Want me to brush my teeth? Should I click to breathe? There's something in amongst the fronds. Do I need to I go to bathroom? <laughs> ah, got it. Why does she have so many fucking That's parcels it. hidden so about, around her apartment? A self-help book by I Burnett. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just that was a good question. put it back where it was. She had one hidden in her lamp. Now one in her in her potted plant. Should we turn off the radio? I'd prefer to leave. Fine. Well, are they all books? No. Now she's saying let's just hang around the apartment. Fine, let's go. Let's the look out the window. Stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass. Thanks. Okay, so it's really cold outside. Let's go back on our computer. Let's Google. I know how to do this. We'll Google pictures of cats on the internet. The E key stick. All right. And there's a cigarette burn on. So paper, but I can't is is it the real horror that you're you're oh, looking what? at? What you usually do on a day to day basis? I think that's <laughs> the game so that's, far. I really want a gaming one. Gavin always used to go on about the she's a uh, she's a hardcore gamer hardware. from what I'm get guessing tomorrow, but she's broke so she can't have a good mouse. gaming PC it's on the clock if I was drinking coffee or felt like reading then make but I don't don't I've had enough of your lip Alex <laughs> my DVD collection Stop being, a such a batch. Gavin was, Stop being such a is, huge batch so. and just pick something I think a few of these are his. to do. I probably give them back soon. <sighs> okay, so she broke up with her boyfriend, I think. She scribbled out his face on her computer. I think. <laughs> in Photoshop? <laughs> I think in MS Paint. It didn't look really. <laughs> it didn't look super good. Um... If I ever start dressing like this, or at least, like, acting like the bleep and told B and complaining about everything and being super snarky, just go ahead and slap me right across the face. I won't mind. But you're so far, Brianna. <laughs> Piff, you know what you must do. 
Get on a I'll train. Buy a come ticket. to Wisconsin. <laughs> Not even an airplane ticket. Marry me. Just a train. Just train a all train. the way to Wisconsin. I am. I'm gonna grab all the books and we're gonna read them, Alex. Buy a I'm not even sure if that's possible. But I will try. Anything. Take there another are shower. Only so many showers I can take. <laughs> You're just so. How do you get so dirty between showers anyway? <laughs> she rolled around in the mud. Hmm. I think I can jimmy it open with something. If I can find something that'll fit. Okay, trying so to wash all. I think all we can this. open up the cabinet. We just need to find something to use to open it. I got it! The inhaler! Brilliant! <laughs> now. Sophia's Take the inhaler, Sophia's. Alex. Cat? Not right now. <laughs> I'm on to something. <laughs> Your cat is so kind, though. Are we talking about the same cat? The one that, like, jumps up on your lap and things like that? The big yeah, fluffy one? Yeah, she also beats me up, though, so... <laughs> she... I'm not Wow. Reaching. I'm not reaching... Not for nothing, but I think you probably deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam. <laughs> I know. We'll use Sam to you open it. I think this little guy's tail would fit in the. Yeah. Cup. Oh, I knew. This it was idea Sam. is so stupid that it might just work. Thanks for thinking my idea is so stupid, Alex. <laughs> this is dumb. Whoever's controlling me. <laughs> this is a dumb idea, Nina. You can't have my soda. Just, just sit I think down. I can jimmy it open with oh. something. If I can. Okay, so we have the doge. Here goes. Should we be there too? It's perfectly. No. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> the tail's just snapped oh, off. Oh, she broke her dog statue, though. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't hey, it? Hey, she replaced it with sake. a real dog. <laughs> oh. Oh, she kicked it open and it opened. I'm not closing it again. Look inside, dear right. Alex. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. Severed human head. Broken. I put it here out of How'd way. this get here? Oh, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Okay. Probably so we're, nothing. We're gonna watch a horror movie, I guess. <gasps> oh shit, she's watching the horror film. Oh, no. One hour later, my phone's ringing. It's, it's dark. Oh. No. <laughs> no, no, Piff. The phone's ringing, and it's all lightning and spooky outside. Right. Phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. Oh shit. Alex, what's you... going on? Why are the lights off? Seven days. Seven days. Hello? That's how long a week Gavin? is. Oh, Rob, hi. That's what I was waiting for when when I heard seven oh. days. Just <laughs> like, that's how long a week is. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. Wait, that was Rob, my neighbor okay. from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. Oh, Rob has your package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Okay. Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. What? Alex, what the fuck? He's just bringing it over. It's not like this is rocket science. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Okay, the phone's ringing again, Piff. Hello? Yes? This is Alex Stabbing. Don't answer it. T too late! <laughs> that was a really delayed reaction. I... Thank you. Okay. She said thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. She can't breathe. Luckily we have an inhaler around here. Oh, there's there's like no, I'm sure that's nothing. I'm sure that's nothing. Let's grab the inhaler oh, though. God. Help me. We're fine. Grab the inhaler, Alex. You'll be fine. There you go. With this inhaler. <gasps> Look at this inhaler. That radio. So I think someone called her on the phone and it gave her an asthma attack. What's up with that radio? What's up with that radio? Hey, Alex. Oh. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Look at this fucking oh. Melvin. Hey, are you alright? So the lights are out. I'm fine. Now. Thanks. Fine. And Just she's gonna get super to spooked by a super ghost. Super Melvin. Gavin again. Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just reading the text, right. and I was—I saw a man talk to Jesus. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Are you sure you're on the right street? Thanks for that. Yeah. You sure? No. This guy likes to talk about God and Jesus. I—I seen it quite a few times. 
only call me Robert when you're Whoever this Melvin fellow is. Wait, hold on, hold like on. Your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. He has yes, an accent. I do. Why is he an accent? Honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're gonna have me sniveling on your doorstep, begging you to listen. But right now, I just need, I just need. It's okay, Al. Take all the time you. Okay, so this guy's a little too clingy. I'm guessing he's gonna go like super bad shit crazy and try and kill her. Cause he wants her love, her gothic love. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. I love the way you don't care about anything. I love the way you don't care about anything, I don't Alex. Think about anything right now. That's what he sounds like. What kind of <laughs> accent is that? I don't know, I actually. <laughs> That's what he I love like you, Alex. <laughs> I love you, oh, Alex. Too. Does he have that sort of it's lisp? Kinda, yeah. Wisp? <laughs> no, I don't think he does. I think I, I think that was creative liberty on my part. I like it though. Yeah, thank you. <gasps> oh shit. He's gonna Outside, be like, check out this weasel rifle I got. <laughs> siren sounds in the night. Blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls she something really out as he passes. Her life. I see the woman start to walk faster. I am she so lonely, so the car sad. Drives off. <laughs> Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the long. distance, the city is drowning. <laughs> this is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. Okay, Alex. It's the perfect you time can stop. Okay. The perfect time to indulge. Just monologue. Monologue. I'll just wait till you're done. Monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? If sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just, just want gonna have to a drink wallow. here, Alex. Don't mind me. You never fucking knew me. Oh, let me just... Go fuck yourself. So... Just... Oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Me, uh, Jesus Christ, why is all this? <laughs> what is all of this? Oh, oh my god, god, my drugs! Oh, okay, shit. okay, okay, oh, we're okay. God, shit. Everywhere. Jesus. Uh, damn it. God damn it, it's like butter! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're done. She's done monologuing. We're good. I'll try to make a slurping sound and it was choked. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. Okay, so it's a clean, crisp suddenly night. Snow time. Just past midnight. She doesn't have her coat the on. The train should be here any moment. Just waiting for the train, though. Yeah, those were all my beer cans. Making my way downtown. Trolley. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. The porter. Who's the fuck is Harold? So hey, you been waiting long? Is that you, Harold? I'm not sure. Oh, he I also has an accent. Time. From Harold and Kumar? I nearly <laughs> Harold and Kumar? There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A uh, little port town. This guy's really Last fucking stop. creepy. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <gasps> They're going to yeah, the same place. Too. It's not a common destination, is it? In the coffee. What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? I bet they're gonna get married. <laughs> it's dumb. And she'll find out You'll that he laugh. killed Gavin. Mm. I'm headed there. And she'll be like, that's so good. And check out broken pots. That makes me sad. I, won't. <laughs> I like that. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah. I won't pry any further, but you know the funny thing. What's oh, that? What's the funny it thing? It feels that way to me too. Oh, you're on a personal journey, right? Oh, here comes the Polar Express! Yay! Should be here soon. I think I can see it. Come here, little dookie. Oh shit! Harold's gonna stand on the train. Uh, the train. It's I bet he's gonna. Long, it's gonna die. Boring journey. That's what I would do if I was a horror game. I am. I forgot to bring any recreational. Just jump in front of the train. Yeah. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. I think we're suddenly texts. Harold, or at least in his brain now. Thrilling. Or he's just monologuing aloud to this mm. poor girl. 
Which he might actually have just did. I think he did. Okay, he just was monologuing to her. I'm not walking away. I'm here now. There's no turning back. Okay, I can't go off exploring forests right now. The train's coming. Thrilling. I probably shouldn't start playing on the tracks. Um, let's have a cigarette, cause you're a gothic nah. girl. Okay, fine. Let's let's get let's give Harold Sam. So I have this toy dog. Would you like a book? You look like a person who likes books. She totally is showing him the toy dog. The right thing to do, don't you think? Understood. Um, hey, do you want my purse? I don't think he needs to see what's inside. Okay, he doesn't want my purse. Or she doesn't want to give him... How about this book? Do you like this I guess, book? I guess Looks I like should he loves let go books. of it. Oh, he was I saying that he didn't have any reading tomorrow. material. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction? Yeah... Sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. Ooh. <laughs> Mine too. I like this one's horror great. Tales. You ever heard of my guilty pleasure? I can't say I have. Spooky. Oh, <laughs> spooky. Well, no. Oh god, the train! Oh, no, they're fine. Okay, well, you know. One can help. Polar Express? Who's here for the Polar Express? Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. Ah, la It's out here. You guys got on board old Claudia now. She's nice and warm. Everyone has an accent, your except her, so maybe we're not. I'll just grab I just your assumed. Is that racist? That might Off be racist. Off you go now. Off Plus you go food. now. No, you dropped something, you stupid bitch. Okay, that's fine. He'll grab it. No, he won't, because he's a stupid bitch, too, apparently. <laughs> Why does everybody have to be stupid? Well, well. Oh, I think What's he found thing? it. I think he found it, guys. Don't worry. What Who's is it? Who's a cute little doggy? <laughs> Who's a cute little doggy with his wee little like boots? <laughs> Settle down, you. We what the ready. hell? And if you start going Eating that soon, right, puppy. Floyd the luggage is, like, growling. We both know what'll happen then. The luggage is haunted. That's it. A talking a tote bag. Wait, <laughs> watch and listen like you. Wow! It'll be over soon, and you'll be back home before you know it. <laughs> a talking tote bag. <laughs> oh wait. Aye, I, I reckon so. I think this guy's the least suspicious of all the characters we've seen thus far. I just saw that. <laughs> oh shit, so that was the first hail. Oh, the first hail. The first inhale, the first book. The first inhale? <laughs> the first, oh, okay, so the next one is sure. Sure. Oh. Sure. That's the train, not me. That's the train too. And the wicked shall hold their tongues. Why are we looking at Harold now? Harold, what's up, dude? They stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <laughs> the train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Oh, Harold has amnesia. Oh, it's a that means quiet. he must be connected. He keeps coughing, so he's dying too. <clears throat> that Maybe means he has alien. Restaurant should be open. Cold. Got the window. Shutters down. Oh, bring the shutter up. Oh, it's no stuck. use. Stop. I don't want to be Harold, but I guess I'd rather be Harold than Alex. 
So actually, I want to be Harold. <laughs> actually, I take I change my mind. Yes. <coughs> Dr. Lang, curator of the Critical Who Tales am Museum. I? That's me, all right. Wait, he's wait. What was that, Harold? No sense in taking. No. What did you say? Oh, you're a museumer. Dr. Harold Lang. No, he he does miasma videos. He's a doctor and he works at a museum or does things for a museum. I'm trying to learn about. I'm trying to build character here. Oh, a bit of money, just what the doctor ordered. A bit of money. Oh, oh, he made a doctor joke. He said just what the doctor ordered. That means he's dying. A five five pound a note. Crisp five pound note. Okay, so they are British, except for. Alex. I don't want to be carting a book around. So we have to be racist. Who's clearly a twat? She's queer, queerly. I can't just cart. Queerly a twat. Queerly. Queerly a twat. It's British. I can it's... say stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go stir up a drink. Oi! Oi! Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. So he's gonna drink alcohol. Oh, look. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold okay. Black. My destination is Auger Peak Island. He's going to Auger I'm on Peak. this train to. Why are you on the train? <laughs> he's he's dying. I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to. Keep going, Harold. What did they call you to do? Stop coughing! I didn't cough that time. Okay, let's look at these doors. Door 1A. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. You know, you're supposed to not, nah, Harold. Not nah, just try and like walk in. Lock. Okay, Harold. <laughs> okay. Hey. This is my room, room. my friend. <laughs> I was wondering if you could. Ah yes, I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> you smell like, like a dead bird. Do the stiff drink about now. Right, you are then. That must be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> There's the fire extinguisher here. I can't just cart around any old thing. You can. You're now the protagonist of the main story. You can cart around whatever the fuck you want, even a dead bird. Locked. I would. It's just made up. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Locked. <gasps> we can't leave Isn't the train. Isn't this the way out? Because it's moving. Because it's haunted. This Polar Express isn't as whimsical as I thought it was gonna be. A painting of an old train. You're going to see Satan. I don't. I want to see Satan. Too Santa. Happy with me if I took it. Satan, Santa. <laughs> Gloria. Okay. Um. Excuse me. I'm just gonna go right by. Hey, how do I get out of here? Right, y'all then. Have you tried the door? Wait, painting keyhole leave. That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? She runs like clockwork, so she does. It's... What happened? This train. Uh, isn't it a little old? We're talking to the <laughs> conductor you kids today train ticketeer no guy. Appreciation of machinery. Ooh. You it's kids today. I'm well. sorry, but... Harold doesn't look like a kid. Like, I don't know, like, about call old anyone old, old but... Don't know. He has amnesia. He doesn't know how old he is. <laughs> the door to the I'm 13! <laughs> is that normal? Yeah, I just hit pre-uberty. <laughs> <laughs> His facial hair just came out of you nowhere. You folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you, if a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift, be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Really needs a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. He's going to give us a key? Oh, please don't tell me he's gonna ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. A Old shot of whiskey? Hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, my friend. Seems Thank easy you. enough. Good puzzle. 
All right, cool. Did he just grab my butt? I'm pretty sure no. the ticketeer just grabbed my butt, but not gonna say anything. So can I use the key to get anywhere? No. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Open. A solemn looking. Have you tried the fire hose? Hydrant. It's bad enough. He did. He said he said he didn't want to carry anything around. And I said, ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. What do you mean hurry? We gotta, ah. we gotta snoop and all the fine. Hurry! <laughs> hurry! We gotta find out who's stealing all of the stuff around the train. Wait, what was that? Locked. The key didn't work. Hold on. No good. No. I can't even get the key in. Must be Must locked be from the other side. side. What? Ah, better hurry to the rest. Maybe the I key's hidden. Go. Are we gonna have to go back and ask, um, that guy whose name escapes me right now? What his? He's gonna be a ghost when we get back. I just know it. All that's he's gonna, gonna be, be left. He's gonna be a crow in a suit. Oh no, he's still here. Hey, dude. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? I'm dying. I need it. Oh, I heard the door open. I think old Floyd is done and I can get my drink. I mean, my alcohol. Oh no, that's just... It's just different. I'll go in there. It's open. When he's good and ready. Emperor Palpatine? Hello there. Hmm? I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? It is Emperor Palpatine! He's muttering something. Dear I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Give me a big <sighs> Maybe I should I be going. Could you I'm some sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth parched from the dark side I think I'd better leave. The Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. <sighs> I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. You're a protagonist. What do you not understand about being a protagonist? I can just go. Just get out of here, Harold. You just his mouth is so shut. <laughs> the dark side of the force. Something, something dark side. Something, something complete. And check the huge bag. But there's probably a body in that bag. There's a man I, tr in one I didn't try, actually. Mm. Just going back I to this don't guy. Think he's at all well. <laughs> he I don't think he's well. We get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. The, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye. Kept blabbering about. The same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I know. Oh, I don't know if Floyd oh, opened well. up. Oh well, give the boy time. Hey, so one of your fellow passengers popped their head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Ooh, pretty. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was? <laughs> Oh, he's asleep. He's... Okay, we'll just we'll let him sleep. I want to see a pretty little thing. One C. Oh, I'll just walk in. Well, this was the right room. Hello? Hello? Where's the pretty little lady? Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? Why would everyone have I the same luggage? I want to have luggage? a look inside, but... These are some Why are ours? Harold, just look. Paper dogs. I'm quite sure the luggage is thinking as, as people. We used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm. I'm sure she. There you go, Harold. That's how you be a protagonist. Just gotta take one. Could 
Sheep be part dog. Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? I don't know, Harold. <laughs> Something doesn't. I okay. want. All right, so we all have the same bags. There's cute girl and Alex, and then we also have Emperor Palpatine, and then the ticket keeper who may or may not be Tom Hanks. So far, I'm liking it. Yeah, it's the good cast we have here. Horror. Horror. <laughs> Mystery. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is where I get my drink. Drink. Scuzzy oh, hair. old timey. Hey, Lloyd. Floyd. Whatever the fuck your name is, I don't care. Give good me evening. my alcohol. Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Give Lang, me how drink. nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. It's Dr. But, Lang. Uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business? Business? I, uh, yeah. A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a oh bite God, to get eat get off first? my back. Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector... Don, I think it was, Dumb. has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. I'll take the flask. Huh. It's empty. Oh. Dude, fill it up. Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Luckily... Five pounds. I have five pounds. Take my five pound no nope. Here you go, my good man. I wish I had a shot of whiskey, but I don't. It was really weighing me down. <laughs> Better hit me with another. Said Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before available. your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. Holy shit, what, and what about your liver, Floyd, Mr. Lang? Back. Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd. You always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? <gasps> we know Floyd. I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more Are you more pulling some Silent Hill Maria drink. shit? Drink. You I'm getting this Maria vibe. Bitch. Just stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Yeah, you call him a stupid That's bitch. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. A little puppy. <gasps> what the hell? What did... <sighs> Some mind Shit. fuckery going on in here. Did he literally say, you stupid bitch? Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. It's been a pleasure as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Dom. Yeah. Did she give me the whiskey? No. Oh. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. How much? <sighs> it's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. Forty pounds? I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. So now I have to find forty... Well, I don't care that much for fucking Don. That stupid bitch. By the way, Kriana, your hair looks really pretty nice. Thanks! I'm actually getting it cut in like two weeks for the first time since October. I'm excited. It's gonna go bald. Gonna go straight Britney Spurs on gonna this. Gonna go straight bald. Here, so we didn't fill it up, but maybe he'll just take it back. Gower bitch. What did we fill it up? But. It's empty. <laughs> well, it's no empty. <laughs> Mark of wisdom. You're getting a haircut, frowny face. Why can't I get a haircut? Locked. What did I do? Do I have any more money? Listen. You are oh. never allowed to cut your hair, Grandma. It's not. Never. Just getting a trim. Maybe I can I sell these paper dogs on the black Once market. Something does. I can't just cart around. Music's becoming slowly cart. unsettling. Well, actually, it's like a siren. It's not really unsettling. The music's still kind of chipper. 
I think Kriana could rock me involved. Thanks, Spencer. Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Can you yes. hear breathing think inside? Sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I went yeah, to so go and put like strange pillars into your head. Put strange pillars into my head? Locked. Yeah. I don't think. Like. Thought you're getting really into character. <laughs> oh, like um, like mind over matter implants. Yeah. Okay. Shut it. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just. Sh I, I probably should have any, like, I don't think I have any like cylinders or pillars, but I do have a lot of pencils. <laughs> Maybe he wants hmm. a paper dog. I'll give him a paper I don't dog. Think so. Okay, fine. What if I give Maybe him? My oh, my credit card. Doi. Okay. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. You're, 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 he's going to steal from you. He's going to get your credit card information. Now, now what, was my, what was my pin? I remember setting, my number I can I remember setting a easily. number I can identify easily. What? I'm no good with memorizing pin. numbers. What is this bullshit? Okay, let's look at your music. Dr. Harold Lang. 1318. We got this. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Pin accepted. I am the up. best puzzle tier ever, you. guys. No, you did. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Yeah. All right. So we got the whiskey. So we put the whiskey in the hip flask. There we go. And now we can give it to Don. You people with your hair. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening to me? Oh my god, I think someone slipped, um, think. Harold the Reefer. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met, oh. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking oh. for? You are, after all, blind drunk. Oh, oh wait, uh, Harold's Did drunk, but Emperor Palpatine just wants a friend. We can be his friend. Let's go visit, let's go visit him. Little buddy, I got a little paper dog for you. Worth the trash. Like a paper hey, dog. So, <laughs> this isn't quite man's best friend, but it goes rah rah. <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. To the dark side of the horse. I think he wants me to open it. I will groom it. <laughs> groom it. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. Uh, whatever. Open. Open Pandora's box. Pushed, but, hey, I think I can move it. It's a very fancy butter tray. Yeah. What? Locked. Locked. Is this a puzzle? Uh, it's open. Oh. oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. Oh, it's filled with earthworms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? They're his friends, Harold. Let's grab one. Okay, I guess we go back. Hey. He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. Should we stick our hand in it? That one? Yeah. Maybe we want some whiskey. Well, that's a good idea. You guys thirsty? Maybe they want dog. my museum card. Okay, you know what? We'll come back. Maybe we just need to come back. He's playing with the dog. He's playing Best with the him. dog! Oh my god, and for Velvety, you're so cute! Alright. Let's go give Don his, uh, alcohol. Hey, Dan. And Dan. Look. Hey. Hey. Done. Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> we see you later. Alright, let's give him his alcohol. Here you go. Oh, boy, you really came through for an old man. Just Talk for about done. dramatizing it. You can't be any older than 35. 35? Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Gettle? What are you talking about? 
There's no girl on this train. <gasps> There's no girl on he this said, train. No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff okay, of whiskey. Bone. But, you know, I'll let you lie. You've got spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. The only soul I've seen on this train It's not normally like that. Tonight. Even Floyd usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd what is I for a I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? Not seen anyone around, Thank son. You, lying. you know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can't beat a good novel and a drink. A good book, eh? Okay, done. I got a good book for you. Some emo chick gave it to me earlier. I mean, goth chick. Whatever. Whatever. There it is. Oh, the happy I music's don't like gone. It as much as I did. And it's just replaced with like the weird sireny thing. I think that means it's gonna get all spooky. It means it's loud hill. It's loud hill. I'm just gonna pick this up. Well, why not? The key to two A. Key to two A. You'll find this mysterious girl. Okay, so we got a key. There's a flask. Uh, no. He might. Oh, he's asleep. Let's give him the book. Huh. Guess he won't be wanting the novel off. Oh, so he doesn't want the book. Okay, so we got two A. Let's go. The creepiness has started. Dun dun dun. I like to search the old man for a dead bird. No particular reason. But this is somebody's bag. What's going on? Photographs. And every Jeff's all of their favorite dolls. She's what? sitting in different seats around her house. What is it about these pictures? What's wrong, Harold? My God. They're Victorian death pictures. Victorian death pictures? Much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <coughs> oh, we took the pictures anyway? I wanna look at them. Not really. My god! I want to have a look inside. But this... So what happened to the Alex girl? I don't know. Maybe she's like... She, she didn't have a train ticket so they threw her off. <laughs> um, Emperor Palpatine. Okay, I guess it's locked, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe the worms want to see a photo. I, I feel like the worms want something. Yeah, well, I, I can't see the worms right now, because the game won't let me, so... We'll just, we'll just head back to... Let's see if Don's awake. Maybe he woke up. Hey, Dan? Dan? Oh my god, he's gone, and he was replaced by a huge... I don't want to. Yes, don't the bags are taking it. over, really. God, it's get true. me out of this place. They were talking before. Oh, done. <gasps> oh no, I heard a crash. Control panel. It's locked. It's locked. Not today. Okay, so what broke then? Oh my god. Emperor Palpatine, are you okay? I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm oh, maybe it's, um, or it could be Lloyd. First we'll check on Emperor Palpatine, because... He's kind of precious to me. Oh wait, no, this isn't. Oh, this bag's moving. I can't do this anymore. I want to wake up. Um, Emperor Palpatine, get out of that bag! You're okay. You're okay, little guy. Oh, what's this? A train. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. The Victorian. Not death. really. Okay. Maybe use the Not book on the train. Not. Maybe the museum mm. card. Stop. No. No, we use Not. the museum. Fine. Well, let's just leave. I don't even care anymore. Just go. Oh, you know what? We heard a crash. I bet we're gonna get glass and then we can open it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Lloyd! Lloyd, were you on a drunk rampage again? Because I've had enough. There's a bag. Oh, oh it's another bag. God, it's slumped against the door. Floyd? 
Oh, Lloyd. Don't. I keep saying Lloyd. It's Floyd. Oh, my God. It's just like you're talking to the cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. Just... Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened all playing years ago. ago. What the hell could have done this? Table? I can't even All look of it. the booze is gone. What happened? Um, it's the bag revolt. I can't even... Just look at the fucking table, Harold. Listen, I can get you through this. We can do this together. Okay, so that was Dumper Palpatine's room, right? Right. Maybe. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so we don't need to go in there. 2B? Um, 2A, we've unlocked before. Do we still have the key? No. Bash the tray against the door! Okay, fine. Uh, do uh, have you tried the card on the train? Hmm? The museum the... card? Yeah. I use that for the pin number. Oh. Uh. I was thinking like you could use it to like pry it open or something like that. Yeah. It's locked. I tried. No, I didn't. There. Oh, there it we go. It came out. There's the thing key. Some kind of Yay. Thing. You <laughs> are smart, Piff. I thought I tried it, but then I gave up. Cuz I I'm a quitter. The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. Oh, we can open up all the shutters. The train's picking up speed. <gasps> the train's getting faster. The brightest day. I'll just There's no sign of slowing, <laughs> so the danger must, must be no. growing. No. Uh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is what? I can't see what you see, honey. Earth. Earth? Nothing <gasps> but earth. Press tight, Press against, tight against, against the window. Oh, so this it's can't like have buried in a happened. train. <gasps> it was this symbolism. Uh, yeah, as uh, he, earlier he said, this train is like a coffin. Yeah. I can't breathe. Oh yeah. <gasps> there's no air. Oh no, there's no <sighs> air. Oh no, are you gonna start hyperventilating too? Am I gonna have to find the fucking asthma thing? Oh. Katarina. Katarina, please forgive me. What? What up, Patch? What up, Patch? <laughs> and man looked down upon the earth, and the earth crawled up to meet him. There was Cassell. Okay. All right, and then I guess the last, the last books exhale. I'm just combining words today. Don't, don't mind me. The lax book. Exhale, exhale, exhale. That's where I got it for Alex. Fuck! <laughs> Yay! Ugh, I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. His name's Harold. That was pretty rude of me, actually. Where's she that nice asked. man on the train? Maybe I'll go find him. <laughs> Whoa, god damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. Half an I hour. wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. Why don't you just have a cigarette I on the train? Stretch my legs. See if that train dude's around. Ask him where the other guy's cabin is. Or just see if there's a bar. There is a bar. So have we gone back in time, or are we on the same train, or are we in like a different dimension, or I don't know. On the murder train. <laughs> on the murder train. I've been. No. I'd freeze to death by open the window. Why didn't you bring your coat? There is a dog in that picture. Cards. I don't think I should steal it. We were gonna look at it, not steal the stupid goddamn picture, you dumb whore. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> the anger took over. <laughs> oh, 
Were we the girl this whole time? I don't want to just go knocking on any old door. Well, at least you're more polite than Harold. At least he would knock. Housekeeping. Hey. Evening, lassie. How's old Gender. Gloria treating you so far? Housekeeping. Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... She's kind of ancient, right? Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So she's not really the same train at all, then? She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, he youngins don't want to be listening to old going on about history. <laughs> I already talked about the museum doctor Oh, no. Oh, uh, the not dark at all. Side of the force. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. <laughs> When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. I had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's Don also loves birds. People who wander around the shores Collecting them, I mean. And sea banks, he doesn't actually love them. Picking up all manner of old tack. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh, yeah? Like what? Oh, just the usual stuff. I found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun time. So, anything I can help you with, miss? Um, that's by the journey. Where's Harold? So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? No, for What's for an emo old? lady, she seems to be very I sociable. Yeah, she's not emo. Yeah. I think she's supposed to be goth. Yeah. Or no, I think she's supposed to be... What's the word? Archaeology. Um. Wait, wait. His name isn't uh, Howard or something, is it? Uh, Howard like Lang. punk. I'm thinking, right? Yeah, I think more Why? punk. Do you know? Okay. Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes. Aye. <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us either. Oh. Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. Katrina. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Aye, they all do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh, yeah, I get you. Okay. So, the port town we're headed to... What a nice Aye. chat. Quaint little nibblewom set. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Nothing at Don't all? Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, so you'll be crossing with us? Aye, I've got some time off. You got family there? Hi, my wife's over on the island. Pretty spooky, ain't it? Nice I get gun. this strange feeling that the voices might have been done like each like actor recorded their own voice and like submitted it to the the develop <laughs> like that I'm not saying that that's a bad thing if that's what they did. I just get the feeling cuz it's not yep. like it's not like super high quality. It's nice. It's I mean, it, they obviously had a really good mic, but it, it sounds like they're all different. Oh, you mean different mic qualities. Like, different mic qualities and, like, the and the voices are kind of... They're okay, they just... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. You make this journey a lot? Alex, Aye. voice actress More than I care to remember, actually. She's got the good kind of, like, sure I don't enough. give a shit. It's I think it's mostly the, the writing that I'm like, rest, Ugh, Alex, right? you fucking whore! I'm surprised when I'm <laughs> Hi. I like the night shift. Stop nice complaining! Be happy. The mind. My doctor's been up and down. The bank's job batch. The bank's job batch. Surprised he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still, he did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly. Especially now I know he's yeah. Kat's Angry boss. Breasts and, uh, in one it does feel inconsistent hey, like they recorded them in different rooms. Take a nap. Yeah. Ask me a week in an hour. So I'll give you a nod once it's up and about again. Okay. Cheers. 
Oh, guess I'll go back to my room then. You can head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd, the barman. Runs the bar. It's open if you fancy a drink. Oh, Floyd's hmm. open. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Well, thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some. What? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. <laughs> again? Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Okay, sure. Catch you later, Don. Alright, cool. So we'll go get something to drink. <laughs> Although I could see that done on purpose. Um, maybe. I, I think it might have been one of those happy little accidents that happens when people do something artistic. You're like, ooh, I like this, how it turned out, cool. Oh, there's a drink already on the Hello? table. Floyd? Anyone? Hmm. No sign. Just take the drink, then. Someone's gonna drink you. Oh. Sounds like he's out there. <laughs> you mean if it was just <laughs> here? There's <laughs> just drink sitting right in front of him. I mean, all right, we just grab it like Bloody Mary. Well, it is just sitting here. Oh, there's a note Wait, beside it. There's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while, Floyd. Oh. Well, that's thoughtful. Cool. No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. Oh, you drink that in one gulp. Good for you, Alex. I'm actually quite I proud of can't... you at this moment. Window? I freeze to death. Okay. Alright. wonder if... Emperor Palpatine. Oh, Emperor Palpatine, are you in there again? Uh, oh, what the f what? Emperor Palpatine, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> I got the youth serum. Uh, hi. <laughs> hey. Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I have no idea what I'm happened. Whoa, sorry, thank you. Oof. How are you? I have. Uh, Alright. <laughs> yeah. Hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. True. What are you, four? Five? I'm eight, actually. Oh, well, we're almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Is your daddy your named Harold? Does he live in Nipawamzep? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Or in Well, okay. Is Don't that question. where your daddy lives? Oh no, she's sad. Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look so sad? I... No, actually. He... He'd been suffering. She was it in was the bag. This way. I said my goodbye. Well, that's already. where they're putting all the other characters. They just fold them up and skip in the bag. Yeah. yeah. Don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about you. Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. Okay. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. HATE IT! I love it now. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, I remember my first time traveling alone. Here. Just lonely, angsty things. That was scary. Are you not lonely Going anymore? on a plane by myself. No, I'm a plane was delayed lonely. for like eight hours. I'm just at peace oh, wow. with that. Yeah, that's when I went to Pennsylvania. Weird. Do you remember that, Piff? I do. Was that really? That eight hours over there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the plane took about, like, fucking eight hours. Like, I think there was... I think it wasn't in Wisconsin, but in, uh... I think it was... Oh, I can't remember what airport I went to, but the, there was, like, a snow or something going on. Uh, and it was... Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's talk about myself. So, hey, uh... Because I'm got... the bastard. Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Cat. Oh, she wanted to draw one. comics. Why didn't you? I think like, we all know a girl like Alex. You know how it is. Actually, I feel like that's like one of those, like, she's like, fits that don't. role perfectly. Hey, I know Just a someone lot we've of either things. met, ran into. I'm sure you do, kiddo. Or, no. Definitely not like Alex. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? 
You don't look like a vampire. Well, I got your hair cut like Alex. Uh -huh, well, I should. That's what I should do with my. I actually, like, well, yeah. my hair used to be that short, but. I, keep I learned. I'm trying and trying, but I don't get any better. <laughs> I, I was the smart good, one this time. <laughs> when for Krana, zero Why for Alex. Then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh man, that takes me back. That's exactly why one. my dad pushed You dated me a girl like too. that? Didn't work though. Me too. The other girls didn't like me. Just kidding. I was either a better dancer than a them, before. which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, <laughs> which made shame. them tease me. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. Oh, well, at least I we like can agree on something, this. Alex. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. Your you boyfriend? Have a boyfriend? Gross. You have a boyfriend, uh, actually, gross. Actually, he's my ex boyfriend. But there's nothing gross about it. But boys are totally gross. Boys are totally gross. Pip, you're yeah, gross. I probably <gasps> thought the same at your age. You're gross. Trust me, you might. Are you a boy, your Piff? Mind, I don't even know. Sadly. <laughs> what was your boyfriend's name? But I bet he's gross. Gavin. Gavin By he, I mean you. He has a silly name. <laughs> he's a silly man. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, well, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. Oh, hey, doomed. What the heck is this game? I don't know. We're two books. We're, there's like little books, like chapters. We've done two chapters and we're on the last one. I'm not even sure what's going on. Emperor Palpatine was around. We're on a train. Going to some place. Oh, just enjoy. <laughs> I'm not yeah, going to sorry. Uh, I am a meat popsicle. Oh, okay. Piff is a computer AI meat popsicle. Maybe I should go see Don. Ask if Lang's awake yet. Oh, let's go talk to Don. Don is the conductor. He likes to put dead birds in his coat. I'm not even kidding. We like Don though. He's a cool guy. Sup, Don? My my main man. What's, hey. what's going on? Even mess. Any sign of our doctor? Oh, it's so good! <laughs> well, I was trying to wake him, but it was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. No, negative. <laughs> I'm a meat so popsicle. Imagine. Oh, okay. I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. So, Don. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. <gasps> Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. How strange. Just dead bird I'm sure face. you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, I. Huh. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me. Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye. Now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> hmm. Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Aye. You're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, aye. Sorry, when is the bird going to come into Sorry, play? I hope, I hope the bird is like the uh, end boss. It's okay. <laughs> I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. Just while you're talking. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mom? Are you and her still close? Probably not. Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. <gasps> Pretty spooky. I'm yeah. sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm shaking. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. 
Hang on, hang on. You don't know anything about her, or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry, this conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, Lassie. I... <gasps> ah, balls. Ha, ah, balls! There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down, we're in this for the long haul. No. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? The lights are off. Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing. Can you guys even be. see what's going on on the stream? <laughs> Not I. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a over. black screen for you guys. Um, I I can barely see. Uh, okay, things. hold on. I think I might be able to fix this. Give me a second. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we can boost the. How's that? Well, you won't be able to tell yet. Let's I have a delay. Excuse me. Let's, yeah, well, I'll wait. Give it a second while we Ooh. catch up here. Very nice. Yeah, did, did, did you catch up? I believe so. Okay, is that better? Oh, good. Yeah? It shifted a little bit, but yeah, it, it's it's better. Yeah, I accidentally hit contrast instead of brightness at one point, but we're good. Okay, cool. Then we will press on. Just waiting for that little girl to just be like, right swinging from the chandelier. <laughs> from the chandelier. <laughs> it's too dark. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too dark. Just go through the fucking door. This door leads. Yeah, it does. It's too. It's too. Do I have. Oh, I have a lighter. Use the lighter. Use use the lighter. My trusty lighter. To, so we can see. So we can nah. see. I don't want to burn anything yet. <sighs> Here, give the lighter to Don. Why do you have cigarettes? Because I smoke, okay? <laughs> you, I... No, that's not okay. You, Here, If you have an inhaler, light. don't smoke. <laughs> of most things, do not do. Good work, lass. Oh, there we Must go. I have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. You're gonna be that freaking old well, lady that, that has like a hole in her throat. Mm. It's alright. I told him I mean, to be on neck. his best behavior. Yeah. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. Is it? <gasps> he was a ghost! What? Where the hell did he go? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. <laughs> what happened? Okay, the game might be too bright now. I don't have any idea. Ah, oh, it's too bright now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's super bright now. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. Okay. Go back to. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay. God, this is like. I think this is like the weirdest, like, lit stream I've ever had. Like, I'm super just, like, ghostly white. <laughs> and, like, now I'm just gonna be a white floating head as I put my sweater on. And, <laughs> uh. Yeah. Some, some good stuff going on here. Wait, she's just figuring out there's something wrong on the train. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. I just want to imagine right now she's just like, Did I just fucking see that? <laughs> what fucking happen? Just, just bring I'm them. serious right now? Okay. I mean, that was a cool magic trick, but freaking... <laughs> Don? <laughs> Don? I think she just thinks she's just really pissed off there. Like, I'm, I'm not fucking moving. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so Don is in 1B. No response. No response. It's locked. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia is okay. Hmm. Isn't Kriana always super pale? Yes, but now I'm paler than usual because I upped the brightness on my webcam. 
So I'm like doubly pale. Double the pale, double the fun. <laughs> huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? Now I can pull out my sweet in insult. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wee, whoa, Lydia? pale face. Shit. I need to get the door. I don't know. Something about calling people pale faces just makes me giggle inside. No. Oh. I can hear Lydia? We need to get the door open. Let's burn it down. Nah. Oh, she said nah. Use the ticket. Nah. Use the cigarette pack. Nah. Throw Use cigarettes at her. Nah. <laughs> Maybe there's a key in your purse. Heart, money, mace. Maybe there's more alcohol. They sound... Yeah. Nah. How'd you get your lighter back? I think Don gave it to me. Because he just lit the they candle he busy. had. I won't disturb them. <sighs> they sound busy. What are they doing in there? <laughs> Guys, open the door. Oh, use the fire extinguisher. Beat it down. I like it. And nothing's burning, Jim. Okay, nothing's burning. Okay, let's go through. Maybe Lloyd has something. Lloyd? Robert! Uh, Rob? <laughs> Robert, what the fuck are you doing here? Hello. You came. I told you they he's gonna you be would. like the fucking villain plot twist who's gonna called. murder us all. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Is that Rob, a Melvin? It's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the it goddamn awesome. train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Threatening exactly. phone calls? How did you forget about so that? why wouldn't I be in now when you need me again? You're... You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The Earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination like... Worms burrowing through the soil. Like tears. From the skies. In the dirt. The predator swoops. Zap. Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. What the fuck is wrong with you, Robert? And a sudden scream <sighs> pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. You're a little shit, Rob. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the mud. Look at his bedonkadonk. Go He's got quite the round ass. Come find me there. <laughs> point that out for everyone to look at. I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Put her belly. <laughs> the oh, yeah. I love her. It's a great idea, Rob. When he stands up, she just like scratches her what arm like him. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? This is some not backing away or anything. Just trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. Was he eating a a, a bird? Oh, it's a knife. It's I like might knife. need this. Yeah, we got a knife. Let's see if there's any more. No more Bloody Marys. Okay, that's fine. Kill him before he kills you. <laughs> Boom Eagle Sex. What? <laughs> Have you not seen Boom Eagle Sex? I don't know what that is. It's a saying that we made <laughs> oh. in the stream. It's kind of like party in my room, but uh, it's it's more of an an explosive like. We've really succeeded at something, Boom Eagle Six. I've never heard you all say that before. I feel I feel like I've missed something. Okay, so I gotta cut open the girl's belly. Oh no, this is my that door is locked. I can figure out how to get open. Maybe I should cut um Harold if he's still in there. It's locked. Maybe the control panel? I... I... better... I probably shouldn't go in there. Mm. I shouldn't disturb... Hmm. Maybe the old man's back? No, he's gone. He gone. He disappeared. They sound busy. Oh, they are already at the control panel. That hmm. was a bit ago. Dean. Hello. Dean. No reason to be Hello. pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to Missy the Dean. She looked. The Hello. canvas looks lumpy. Like there's Is something, there's something be behind it. Maybe I should use a knife. Maybe I will stab. Here. 
Oh. It says it's the key to 2A. Oh, sweet. <laughs> well, that worked out nicely. Was this a surprise party Hi. for me? Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. It's a surprise, surprise uh, party for me. Uh, Sophia? Fuck. Surprise! Jesus. <laughs> Not like Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already uh, drunk, I see. Okay, we got the hipster I've friend. I only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin I'm was silently for judging you. you. Oh, God. What? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't oh, he be? We have the token bitch sure of the group. I'm pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great. Carly, too. Fuck this. Gavin is not here. You're not here. None of this is here. None of this is real. I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake. Whoa, Alex, chill. Token Have black you taken guy. Something? I say, yeah, don't worry about it. Alex is just being her weird, hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. Yeah, this is definitely done by random. Alex on her not random people, but she's being rude to us. Everyone recorded she's their lines. She's stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes, I'm stressed. I need to get to the bottom of this. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. <laughs> I wanna screw Wrong. everyone. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27, definitely. Look at her. She's no spring 27's chicken. not old. 27 Club A, Alex. Gonna take a hit, snort a line, shoot up, go out in a blaze of fucking glory, throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah, you got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober, remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Token Just bitch of the group, what, what, what I tell you? you what I tell you? No. Struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know, Carly, shut the fuck up. Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking yeah, island I'll and find see. a pottery and meet Lily fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior will bring me the fuck down on douche my canoe. Birthday, not <laughs> again. Whoa, okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. And turn up the tunes. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. So I'm gonna stop this cat fight. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. <laughs> fuck you. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. She- Hey. Listen, I'll talk Everyone to Carly. invite this bitch. Okay. <laughs> it's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It Is that Melky from Channel Awesome? Matters. I guess 
kind of did something. I can't remember. I have to hear Isaiah's voice again. Hey, Isaiah, you want to talk? I want to talk to him while Carly's there. Oh, okay. What'd she give me? Oh, an inhaler. Hey, Sophia. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Party I cred. don't want to talk to these people. They're not meant to be here. Hmm, cool. Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. <gasps> do we need... No. Huh? The music stopped. Oh man, there's gonna be blood everywhere. Oh. What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? <gasps> there's just pigs now. I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. It's a birthday party. This is a birthday party for you, fuck Alex. It. Why not? Happy birthday, Alex. Hmm? Welcome to a party. Sure. Why not? We're all pigs. Why don't you become a pig like us, Alex? There's nothing left. Party. Is this her emotional baggage? <laughs> <laughs> huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Okay. Oh, someone answer that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Hey, Don. Sorry. Sorry. The ringing isn't coming. Oh. I think the ringing's coming from in here. I can't answer the. F I just answer the goddamn phone. There's a phone. Ah, on. here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. And just answer ringing. the fucking phone, the Alex. Number. Oh God, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? It's Robert. I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your sweet... I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. She's ever. really good at coming up with I these will insults. Find out who you are, and you will <laughs> threats. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Don't have balls, my lady. <sighs> this guy, this fucking guy. Oh, hey, Don. Oh, damnation. I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely he wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? Aye. Maybe. He can see her through the, the cabin. Though, really. He's got x-ray vision. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fellow with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not lying. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight? Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. 
Oh, well, right, yeah, then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait, the guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Thanks, Don. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose no, it at not this Jesus, Don. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's... Okay, maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting, a little more real, but you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. Hi. Right. Let's go, Miss Alex! Oh, of course what? it's Robert. Hey, How's it Alex. Things? Remember the nuisance caller? Well, you mean Gavin? No, do that. It's you okay, Piff? <laughs> We've mm -hmm. been over this. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you said. Didn't he say he was times. the person who keeps calling? He told me to come here. No, he well, said he was with, both with her. Great. To get her I through don't that think you have time. To worry about Rob. Of the people calling. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? My daughter? Yeah. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you may want to look over and look at those, those pictures. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. <laughs> I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. <laughs> but I always wondered, you know? And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I was so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> no! But it's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is... The worm! The worm inside my head, burrowing away inside my brain, wriggling like a grub. Rob, stop it. Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, stop. I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I what is this shit? <laughs> I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll. <gasps> oh, fuck. oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you, wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time. And now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me. And I won't This is about the time I just leave the room. <laughs> Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? You wanna chat? Stab him. Me, Get the knife. Throw else. the knife. Stab Someone him. Actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That Rob is, is pretty all ripped. All kinds of <laughs> fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had, uh, I had no idea. Look. They're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? His voice sounds familiar to me, actually. Not any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. 
the cart of the charnel house king. Maybe not. The worms eat the Not flesh, sure. the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Bye, Rob. Now, stay here with me. Oh. Where it's safe. You're gonna just chill in here? Oh. Is this the part where I stab him? I'd rather try and talk. Oh, okay, sure. Rob, we'll talk to him. Please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. Jim Sterling. I won't tell anyone. Tell Jim anyone Sterling. Rob, that tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Can we stab him? There we go. What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. Still curious about those no, pictures. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Well, yeah, I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! I have to cut his dick off. Oh. I could kill for a cigarette right now. Kill? Okay. Well, here. I don't even want to look at these any longer. Okay, I can't look at the stalker oh, so collage. Much inside of my apartment. Oh. How long has this been going on? Alright. Let's give him a party hat. I don't think he'd appreciate it. Okay. It's worth a try. Let's grab a cigarette. There you go. Nah. What did they say? What I'd like to say smoking is my only vice. Oh, wait, there's a window. I'd rather not jump out the window unless I have to. Okay, fine. You want to have a cigarette, though? You said you'd kill for one. Put nah. it in your face. Give it, give it to Rob. Mm, this could work if it was lit. Wait, what could work? Giving him a cigarette? Okay. Maybe. Rob, oh. I'm going to smoke, okay? Cigarettes I kill. Cigarettes kill. Smoking will kill you, Alex. Who's Jim Jesus Sterling? Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine. Fine! I'm just gonna build Jim Sterling because this is bugging me. It does sound familiar. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, anyway, if it is Jim, we're gonna burn him. I mean, burn him. Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. <gasps> right in the eye! Oh my fucking eye! I'm, I'm blind! You fucking oh. I would have just stabbed him, but that's just me. <coughs> Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. What were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. Get wrecked. <laughs> I, I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was... Oh, God. Now, slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow. He's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. He's the one who's been calling me, encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh, God, it's so obvious now I think about it. But but Rob's not a bad guy. He's just a creepy He's little not fuck. Okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect Robert. Me. Crow? No, then. Sounds like he's in need of help. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. Go, oh, man, just yeah, stuffs him in I his shirt. <laughs> but I hurt him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. 
I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Sepulchre? Hi. Sepulchre. Oh, Gloria. Sudoku? <laughs> the engine of death. Only... <laughs> Only... Tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. I know, but... I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Who is us? Me and... well... you'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie. I'm sorry about all this. Let's get going! So is the train like purgatory? I guess. Hey. Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... we were? Yeah, I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh, oh yeah, that was tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, oh, dead I see. Time's, time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. Alright, Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should, I don't know, try and patch things up, if you want. Piff. Last time, Maybe we're I on the train, it. too. I blame them Maybe both. we died, too. I was so sure. So oh. sure. Well, My okay. Would never talk yeah, I guess. About whatever. It. Maybe I just wouldn't It's a pretty listen. nice death. Yeah. I need to find out yeah. what really happened. Maybe As I pull I out my DS. Right. <laughs> just gonna go on my PS4. <laughs> <laughs> Ask about Rob. Have you seen Rob about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor. Rob's an Rob asshole. Oh, what no. an asshole! He ain't been by that I've seen. Okay. Isaiah, do you remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Oh shit. It hasn't. Yeah. Happened yet? They start in a few days. Get with it, Alex. What? Nothing. Existential crisis. What if this whole stream Don't is our own hell? Me. You've learned my secret! Man, that's the theme of the night, alright. She never said it was a horror game. I, uh... Yeah, I... I think this is a psychological horror. I think it still qualifies as some form of hor horror. But, um... Yeah, I, I knew nothing about this game going in, so... I don't know, I'm not hating it. We'll see what happens. He's gone, right? Yeah, your boy Bells oh, after threw that cup at him. Horror Real comes in all killer. shapes and sizes. <laughs> okay, don't what if Tree just like it. walked up to you, hey, stared at you, you look back? Funny, really. Horror. At least it was just a plastic cup. I'm just like, ah! Oh, Last no. I saw, he was headed off. <laughs> Maybe you should call him. Kenny, you'd be the worst devil. Or the best. Time. So, in your opinion... In my opinion? She was all over him. So, uh, yeah, tried to get emotional baggage clip? That might be more, uh, on the nose than I thought yeah, it would I be. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> First time, right? I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. I wondered that. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it, too. That he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh, I mean afterwards. In the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. It's just never really mind. Not Girl, before. you're making my head spin with this. Anyway, Girl. my advice is go talk to Carly. She sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. Okay. Fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door with Sophia. Okay, cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Peace. <laughs> Peace. 
Peace. Hey, other person I'm talking to, we're talking about the future, but not the future because yeah. I didn't have it yet. Shh. <laughs> hey, Alex, you need to talk Carly down. Sitting with Ever Palpatine here. I am Judas. I am Judas. I am. She's freaking out. She... Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. She's Judas. Yes. Who in the blue fuck Do is it. that? What? Kill him. Carly. No, <clears throat> that Do dude. It. <laughs> Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly. Please. I can't. Do this anymore. <laughs> Do it. I am the whore. <laughs> Do it. Little guy. Do it. Okay, fuck that. <coughs> Get him. Carly, what the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. He promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Is Carly oh, possessed by a demon again? Did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? Um, the green balloon? Hey, Carly. <laughs> Would a balloon cheer you up? I am the sinner. I am the whore. Well, Carly. I guess not. Why don't you just, you know, maybe Emperor Palpatine wants a balloon. It's just nah. Okay. Maybe not. You want a party hat? Nah. Okay. Do you want a party hat? Nah. Okay. Do you need an inhaler? Nah. Okay. Um, should I try burning you? Nah. Okay. It's fine. Let's have a cigarette. Nah. Okay. Maybe we won't. Cards. Give her the purse. I don't carry change. Fuck. May I have a silver dollar? Yeah. Nah. Wait, it is. There's a whole silver dollar. Yeah, a silver dollar. Hey. It's got a cut out over wood. A silver dollar. Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. I didn't carry See? any change. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> See, Ever Pelptee's oh. carrying it. Yes. I have the coins of the dark side. Hey, can you understand me? <sighs> yes. I need that bag. Can I have it? <laughs> the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? I love that. <laughs> Wait, Don gave me? Nah. Wait, give him a lighter. Hey, how about a trade? This lighter you can for switch the bag? bags. <laughs> oh. He likes lighters. Aww. I'll just let him. I'll just let $3 him do his thing. And four cents. Hopefully this will do. It's money anyway. All right, you dirty whore, take your money. <laughs> Here, will this do? Silver. So we got a My paper silver. dog and a lighter. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He likes the simple things in life. I appreciate me. that. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Gavin wanted you, and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? Not really, no. If only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if... Almost as if... We only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. Nope. <gasps> Now you guys can't see anything. Oh. I'm sure she's fine. She's cool. She's fine. 
Well, you're no fucking use, are you? <laughs> Good old Aww. Edward Valentine. Yeah. You have a balloon. Nah. Okay, fine. I really want to give him the balloon! <laughs> Hey, Lydia. Alex! Hey, I missed Give you. Give him a party hat. I keep hearing weird noises on this train. And a man keeps looking in at me through the door. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. I want my daddy. Oh, good lord. Give her the blame. My daddy's gonna get me from the station. He said he got me a present. I hope it's a doll. <laughs> I collect dolls. <gasps> a porcelain oh. doll? Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Oh, what's your daddy's name? Robert. My daddy's called Robert Crow. Oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Robert you know Crow. Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I... Your daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This... This train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... And then I'm back on the train and we're gonna see daddy. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. That's what the man said too, but he had a doll from daddy to prove it. Oh, how about instead of a doll I give you a balloon? I don't think she wants... Fuck, fine, I'll go get the doll. Yeah, his daughter went missing. Yep. Okay, curioso. Yeah, there we go. I have no need to carry a lantern. I want to carry a lantern. He's a porcelain doll. I want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. She's very derisive with her steps. Yeah. Well, she's got. I'm gonna freaking pull <laughs> so hard. <laughs> she's got that tood. That tood that I don't think you and I will ever fully understand. She What's reminds me of Shaggy. With the balloon? What do you mean, what's my obsession with the balloon? The balloon's great! Who doesn't love balloons? I love balloons! Balloons are awesome! They're fantastic! Does your walk cycle remind me of Shaggy? What? Does in your walk, walk cycle yes, remind you of Shaggy? you're right. It is a bit Shaggy. Okay, here we go, Lydia. You can have your doll. Hey, Lydia. I have something for you. My alien cat over oh, here. wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy! You really have met him! Yeah, do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just... <gasps> hey, who's that? Lydia? Lydia? <gasps> a huge bed. Let's have a look. It's... It's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's worms. It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. Um. Use the balloon? Nah. Combine the balloon with the hat. Nah. Okay. Use the purse. Nah. Use the ticket. Nah. Okay. Is there something in there? Yeah, she said, she said there was something in there, but she wasn't going to put her hand in it. It's full of wool. Oh, uh, um... Hmm. 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 So we gotta find something. Gotta find something here. There's I'm food. not hungry. Are you sure you're not hungry? I'd be hungry if I were you. Um... I can't. Why don't you go behind the bar? I can't. Okay, we're not. That's fine. Use the party hat to scoop the worms out. Didn't I try the party hat? No, I Maybe. tried. I'll try the party hat. I don't remember if I did. 
It's kind of like a scoop. Yeah, you're right. It's a good idea. All right, party hat. I'll just. Yeah. Dirt Who away. came up with that idea? That was Mark. Huh. Yeah. It's my knife. Oh, it's the knife I'll again. That. <laughs> I should. Okay. Now I just gotta go stab someone with it. Robert. Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd what do you think back? the T stands for? I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. I know what's behind you. Oh, it's just serial killer guys. It's fine. It's right. just that creepy dude over the bedpost. Yeah. He calls himself Kanye. No, not Kanye. Keanu. Oh <laughs> god, they both sound the same. <laughs> hey. hey, Floyd? Ah, yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but... But... Are you licking my Davin? desk? Hello, Alex. Delicious! What's <laughs> up? Oh, God, Gavin. It's Gavin? See your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me Oh, like her that? mascara is running. How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell Why me? Why the cheap kind, I guess. Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone It's full of worms! You think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Your mascara is fine now. Yeah, she cleaned it up when she had the gin. Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. There's always a lighthouse. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak. And we're all going home. You can thank you for ever come in and she suffocated you. Something that's changed the sepulchre forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Cat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up were so hurtful, so hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. Robert! Rob? Gavin? Explain. <laughs> You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God. No. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. <laughs> It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbor, your friend, with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove, so we could give you some time without going too far, so we could wait it out, make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Go away, Rob. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have continued defiling you, I could hear you both, you know, through the walls. Hear the terrible things he did to you. How he forced you to moan in pleasure. To knife pretend that, to be enjoying it. How you mm -hmm. were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some 
victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I am not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Clean it up. Tip for tip. Clean it up. Let's exchange stories. With knife in the Wait. chest. Your ex-wife put her on the train to come to meet you. You abandoned her on the train. She ran away from home and got a train. Um... You, I guess we'll go with the... I don't know, guys. The first one, your ex-wife... Uh -huh. That's what I'm thinking. Your ex-wife put her on the train to come meet you. Oh. That seems to make sense. You abandoned her on the train because she was supposed to meet him when she got off the train, right? Where she ran uh, away from the... What? Piff? I can't remember what it was. I, I thought it was okay. like... Um... That she ran for some reason? Did she run away? Um... Everyone's saying one, though. People are feeling one? <laughs> Long answer is usually right on the tests. Sure, we'll go with that. Yes! Yeah. She was coming to visit me. But dear sweet Lydia. There's a lot of ones flying around. Okay. You forgot to pick her up from the station. She wasn't on the train. You met her at the station. Well, he was supposed to meet her, but someone else did. So I'm going to pick three. You met her at the station. Maybe he killed her. Because he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, guys. He's pretty cuckoo. She wasn't on the train. You forgot to pick her up from the station. I'm going to say... Hmm. She wasn't on the train. Oh, two? You guys are thinking two? Because someone else... Because she, she was a... Oh, man. We're getting mixed mixed answers here. Okay, the over the overwhelming vote is two. So we'll go with two. She wasn't there. We searched the train. Two sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off if... She'd even been on in the first place. Okay. They sent you a ransom note. They found her body the next day. They never found her. They didn't find her, did they? Did they? Wasn't he saying that she was still missing? Okay, let's see what chat votes. They haven't <laughs> led me astray, I don't think. My vote's three. They never found her, but... God, who knows how well I pay attention. Oh, three? Three? We're getting we're getting some votes for three? Three? They never found her. Walter, please, I can only I can only take the answer in the form of a number. <laughs> okay, sure, they never found her. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere. Dead. Just waiting to be found. That I couldn't save her. The island took her. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that... that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. Oh. To drug them. To knock them out. To paralyze them. A few cuts here and there. A few threats. And I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you. As I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now. Four months and still alive. I had to remove his other leg last weekend. Oh. Now, not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny I don't room. know. <laughs> and, and he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin? This isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? 
Do I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin? Well, that explains why the phone calls stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. Our standards of the perfect man are completely fucked. different. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell. Oh, the man with the one eye looks good. <laughs> no, no. That line girl's better get some sleep. You know, screaming loud enough to wake the dead. Don, not now, please. Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Oh, aye. I'll see how it is. We had fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd, a whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic. Is there a bit of domestic and me? Yes, going on here. <laughs> Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this before it ever began. Before you were reborn, just stab him. Oh, good job, Alex. Floyd, stab the old man. <laughs> Don't know that's how it was meant to go. Do you? Oh. Can't say I do. No. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell, no. Doing. Remember Palpatine? Hmm, that works. Works for me. I can't. I can't what breathe. What's going on here? <laughs> Be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't. I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought Pretty I'd see spooky. him. Keith, my father. Instead, I found this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Doctor Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here something, tonight. Something dark side, you fucker. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. Game over. I can mm. barely see the town. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. God damn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. Dead, dead bird fell through the window again. So. Oh, yep, Jim Sterling. There he is, right there. Well, that was a game. Ooh. I wonder if it was supposed to end that way. Like, uh, if there's multiple endings. Yeah, I was wondering that too. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I like the, uh, I like the layout of the game, actually. I like the adventure, or what's the word for it, um, point-click, kind of point-click, 
but I like I like that. And like you can do a lot of cool things with this kind of layout. I don't know if I have if I like the story or not because I'm not sure if I quite fully understand it. But I think it's, it's pretty good for an indie that I heard nothing about. It's certainly better than some of the bullshit games I played recently for Horror Night. So yeah. Yeah. I think overall I have a positive positive uh, feeling about this game. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't leave leave at least myself. I can't speak for everybody, but leave yeah. myself in a crappy mood. Yeah, same, same here. It's um, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Mackenzie, I am going to murder some people. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mackenzie. Okay, so maybe she didn't feel the exact same way. Um, but yeah, no. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that is the ending. Okay, Spencer, cool. Um, obviously you don't have, like, very much replayability, but I feel like with this kind of, like, like, this is a good test run for, you know, you can do some pretty fucking awesome things if this, uh, if this catches on or whatever. I don't think it will because it's kind of obscured. Not even Twitch knows what it is, so. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We'll just listen to the really epic music, I guess. Oh. Does anyone else have any thoughts, feelings, concerns about the matter? I am concerned. What's wrong? What if... Yes. If the train... Yes. Was more... more of like a... A, a a thing to tell you that the game is on rails and there's no other way to play. <laughs> <laughs> the game is railroading me. Actually, I I made that metaphor when I was like like solving the puzzles and I'm like, you know, with this kind of setup, you could like you could do some really cool. Like I don't think they obviously did, but like you could do some really cool things by having like multiple answers to to different parts of the game. Obviously, it was very short. But I think, mm. I think there could be Augur Peak Rise 2016. Oh! Maybe they are planning for something more. Oh, snap! For something more um, official. 2016. Hell, I'll check it out. I'm totally interested if that's the case. Also, can I check Twitter? I should I check Twitter? So, yeah. It's gonna be a jump scare. Uh, Balloon! I love it. Hang on, I will favorite that and I will retweet. Um, me and em Emperor Palatine will be best friends. Did I say best friends or best friends? Either way, I think it works. 